So here we go with our decimal review. So we're going to start off by just reviewing the actual places. Okay, so here's our decimal point. The first place to the left of the decimal point, what is that called? What place is ones? that, Chris? Ones. Yeah, the ones. Okay, so this is the ones. What place is this? Tens. 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 And then if we go over one more and more. Hundreds. Okay, so this should just be review. Then we go to the right of the decimal point. This one is what, Abby? Tens. Tens. Good. Remember that ends in TH. And then we have what, Lucinda? Hundredths. Yes, hundredths. And then as we go over one more, Maya? Thousands. Thousands. Any questions on that? Or do you all kind of remember that? If we're doing this, if we're taking these and we're doing expanded form, what do we multiply by to get to our ones position? Chris. Um, uh, Not tens, because that would be in our tens position. We're going to multiply by one, right? Oh. If we have a number written and we want to then write it in expanded form, what are we multiplying by in the tens position, Abby? Tens. Yes. What about the hundreds, Katie? Thousand. Hundreds. Yeah, yeah, a hundred. A hundred, good. Right. Now if we go to the right of the decimal point, Ooh. what do we multiply by there? Listen one tenth. To? Yeah, one tenth. A uh, hundredths, Abby? And then lastly, Ooh. Cole? One one hundred, one thousand. Good, one one thousand. Okay, and that helps us when we're doing expanded form. So let's take a look at a number. Who could read this to us? Ooh, okay. Go ahead, Lucinda, just read it out loud. Four thousand. Oh, no, just, just read it. What? Yeah. yeah. Four and thirty-eight hundredths. Yeah, four and thirty-eight hundredths. Okay, so four and thirty-eight hundredths. Who can tell me how to write this number? Everybody write it on your whiteboards. I already have it. Wait, wait, wait. And we've decided that we can write this as four and thirty-eight hundredths. Do we all agree? Yeah. Okay. So now write it in expanded form. Four. Expand that number now. Up here. All right, here go. On. Y'all have a chance, don't worry. All right, Abby, go ahead and write us the answer. Okay. Don't let your hand touch. Remember. So we got start with four times one because it's in the ones Rosario, place. Rosario, please come to the office. Michael Rosario, please come to the office. Three times one. I have a sign on there. Three times one tenth because it's in the tenths position, plus eight times one one hundredth, because it's in the hundredths position. Okay? Questions, comments, or concerns on that part? No. Lucinda? No. Okay. All right, let's look at another one, so you can erase your whiteboards. Okay. And here we have a number. It says 29.658. Who could read it to us? Read us the number, Cole. 29 and 658 thousandths. Very good. 29 and 658 thousandths. So if I was writing that in words, I would say 29 and 600. 58 thousandths. What I want you to do now on your whiteboards is to expand that number. Okay, write it in expanded form. There you go. 
Please write it for oh, us go in um, expanded form. Christy, you mm. There you go. Dude, you're going to run out of room. You write that that big. Write it a little smaller. It's the same exact size. Write it smaller. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm talking your first parentheses should be like that big. Okay. Oh, you can write it with your finger. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so you have two times... <laughs> Ten, because the two is in the tens place. Plus. Nine times one, because the nine is in the ones place. Six times. One tenth because it's in the tenths position plus five times one one hundred because the five is in the hundredths position. Just leave the chair alone. And then lastly, eight times one one thousandth because it's in the thousandth position. Does anybody have any questions on this one? No. Okay. This time I've given it to you in expanded form. Oh man. On your whiteboards, write this in word form and number form. Press only the number that that this expanded form goes with. Try again. There you go. Perfect. All right. Um, Cole, come on up and write it in words. Autumn, did you finish your work? Do you want me to hold it? Don't be afraid to press. Press. There you go. Just like you're writing on the board. There you go. Perfect. 45 and 63 hundredths. Okay, so that is how you would write it in words. Alright, so let's just review this again, too. Oh, wait. If you're multiplying. By a power of 10. Okay, with this, this chance we're multiplying by 10 to, the, to uh, the second power. Oops. How many places does your decimal point move? Two. Oh, but we're doing time. Oh, can I do this one? How many places oh, does it um, move? Um, does it move? Two. two. Oh, it Chris. Oh, um, it moves two places. Two places because that guy tells us. Am I moving to the right or the left? Right. right. The right. So if I have 0 .587, 587 thousandths, I move it two places, bam. Miss Thompson, she draws for us on the board, she just, she does a multiplication in the corner, she does. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 58.7 or 58 and 7 tenths. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at the next I want you to try this next one. This is dividing. So do it right on your whiteboards. Do it on your whiteboards, please. All right, go ahead, Sam. Do it for us. Yeah. Don't let like me hands 
for the answer is You put two decimal points. It's good. So point four two seven, right? Four hundred twenty-seven thousandths. Oh, do the next one.